one I'm back again with my last review from Johanna Bassford and that will be Johanna Bassford's Magical Jungle and Inky and the Ivy But Ivy and Inky Butterfly. What am I about? Inky and Ivy Butterfly. <laughs> no, Ivy and Inky Butterfly. So let's get started with Magical Jungle. So um if this one came out like two years ago, I believe. Um so it's got a nice cover, it's got like foil bits on again. This is a UK edition, so other editions may vary, but the UK one has gold foil on it, and you can completely cover colour that in if you want. Um, you can take the dust jacket off this one, and it's kind of got the waxy gloss on this one, like Lost Ocean did. So yes, you could use pencils, but it might not be the best medium to use on it. Pens might be better. Again, don't use alcohol markers because you'll go through, and then you will have alcohol marker through your magical jungle page. Um, and this time it has a green cover with some jungly leaves on. So you can completely take the whole cover off and colour that in, which is nice. So we've got the title page bit here. Um, and again, this is the page with all the um, publisher's info on it. And this is the nameplate page. And I decided to draw my name. So it was like leaves and things like she had um I sort of looked at what she did here and I kind of did my own version of it because I thought why not so I did and I think I used polychromous actually so on that so they work really well polychromous and probably prism the colour as well actually I'll probably use both um so again you've got hidden things inside the book to find and we've got intro and tips again this with this was the first book that she put tips in on on it um and it's nice that she's even got the hashtag in which you could put the, um, the colour pictures on under, like, on Instagram and things, which is nice. Because she actually does look through them. So we've got a nice big double page spread. And then if you look carefully, there is nothing running up at the edge in this book. Or at least in this page at all, which is really nice to see. So you can easily colour these in without a problem. So have got a book with a jungle coming out of it. This again would be like a... Um, mandala type thing well kind of it's not really it's just loads of flowers within this sphere it's a sphere spherical painting shall we say we've got some parrots um and this had like a little house in with this so this is one of the ones i have colored in um i used prisma colors in this one and it's okay, turned out fine um i used oh i think these are, i think this is ink tents background i absolutely hate the background by the way it did not come out how we wanted to but um so as you can see though like these bits it's just very thin there so easy for you to color in um and obviously i used water medium on this did it go through this side no did it go through that side no so there you go as long as you don't use too much water that is fine um so yeah i do think it's a bit of a shame i kind of feel like i've ruined the picture because i love this bit then i feel like the background's ruined it slightly so eh, well not much you can do about that um, and then there's a lovely wreath, which is really nice, and you could even draw Moana in the middle or some other ones. And then we have a lovely butterfly here, um, which is really nice. And we've got another double page spread here, again, nothing running up in the middle, and it's got lovely jungle themes. So there's lots of leaves in this book, so if you really don't like leaves, you might not like this book. Um, but I personally, although as much as I do find these a bit tiring to colour after a while, I do love the pictures in this book. I think they're beautiful, and I love and I just love it. So um, I will forgo the amount of leaves just for the glorious pictures. And we got a lovely tiger, and it's got like I love the bamboo frame for it, like a toucan, a nice sort of like um, hummingbird page, and then we have got more toucans on this one, like little frogs. <laughs> um, again, another double page spread. So again, there is absolutely no like drawing in the middle of that spine which is really nice so this is like I've seen some people do amazing things with the backgrounds in these as well um so that's the nice thing that you could just leave it white you could just do a plain background you could add leaves and trees you could add a river or like um somebody's put ruins in one they've put an um, army man in a like a crash plane in it like it's amazing some of the things I've seen people do in these so it's nice you can have that imagination there's that part one that she always includes in there and um, we've got this butterfly. So this is kind of like, um, I don't know, like a floral type different thing. Who knows? And we got a lovely panda with a bamboo frame. So this is just kind of like a wallpaper page with leaves. 
big floral slash butterfly page here for you to see. And we got uh, a leafy iguana, or is it a chameleon? I think it's a chameleon. And then there's lizard over here. And then this one's quite nice, like you could do loads of like wisteria or something coming down here. I love the fact that she's just left it open for you if you want to, that you could do something here. That's what I really like about this. Um, of course, you know, you can just leave it. And we got like a little um, lima and a tree. So I really like this book because I feel like there's not very, there's not as many like mandalas or like, you know, spherical things. I feel like the, there's a lot more actual drawings in this one. Not that there isn't in others, but I actually really like this book. And it's a shame I have not covered in it very much though. Kind of need to. So here you go. This is one of, there's not as many of these type things in there, which these are okay. But, you know, if you're not really a mandala type person, you know, you're going to not enjoy that as much. There's a wallpaper pineapple page. There's a skull. Again, there seems to be quite a lot of skulls. It's like a Day of the Dead skull, though, so I like that one. Um, and this is a horrible background, which I am intending to paint over in black with black acrylic paint because it will make it look so much better. But this is watercolour, though. So, again, the watercolour did not go through. There is a bit of crinkle, though, but it's not that bad um, on the other side. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely fine. Um, and here is just a like bigger leaf. So if you want to kind of big leaves, there's some big leaves that you can colour in. And then we got another jungle double page spread there here, which is really nice. Um, I like that. And then we've got a hippo. Um, are those do hippos live in jungles? I'm pretty sure they live in African savannah. Well, you know, they live on the Nile, don't they, or around rivers, swamp, I guess, type thing. Which I guess could be a kind of a jungle, I guess. But anyway, yeah, I still like that it's in there. <laughs> um, and then you got like a fish in that worm. And then we got like a little house out in the jungle, which is nice. And then like a circle type one with like lily pads in. Um, and then we got like a big sort of underwater type scene thing, which is quite nice. Some florally flowery leaf things going on there. Um, I'm guessing chameleons again. I'm not really sure if they're chameleons or iguanas. <laughs> and there's an elephant wallpaper page, which is really cute. I like that one. Um, and again, we've got another sort of like floral type page here. Mandela type one. An elephant trapped in a bottle, which is really cute. We've got some parrots and birds of paradise in that one. Um... I guess it's kind of like a mandala type one, but it's got parrots in it. It's really nice about that one. And then we've got butterfly and flowers in this one. A page full of flowers this time instead of leaves. So there's flowers all in those. I've got flowers all in this one and some leaves and things as well, which is quite nice. Um, and then we got another sort of wreath type one. A tiger, which is really nice. I like the tiger one. And then we've got another jungle one here with some lemurs in. And a snake. <laughs> it's really nice, I like that. And then again, we've got the key to finding all the things here. And then at the end, we get a colour test pet page, which I have tested that one. And you actually get some perforated pull-out pages as well. Free in the book, which is nice. So you can pull this one out. And it's got like a little pattern on the back if you wanted to. In and we've got an elephant one, we've got a sort of mandala -y type one here, and then you've got ones with flamingos as well. So, there's that's really nice that you get those little extra drawings in the back of that one. So, that is Magical Jungle. Next, now, this is the latest one she's done. She is bringing out another one, something flowers, I can't remember the name of it, but it's all got it's all about flowers. So, if you like flowers, you'll like the new one. Um, I've got looking forward to it, actually because from the pictures I've seen it looks quite nice actually um anywho this is Ivy Ninky Butterfly now as you notice it's just completely different to this book it is not the square sort of shape it's more sort of A4 paper size it's not A4 but it's similar and it's very thick like there is a lot of pages in this but this one happens to be a storybook and this again is a UK cover it's kind of like a bronze 
no, not rose gold, it's kind of like a bronzy sort of like cover. Again, you could cover that cover in. This has not got a removable dress, dust jacket though. Um, and again, it's kind of like a waxy type feel, so you can colour this in, but if you want, you might not want to use colour pencils and stuff. So this is like the title page which I've started. Now I use watercolour on this, hasn't bled through. So this has got the same paper as Magical Jungle and it's really good quality. It's really th quite thick. Um, I mean, it's obviously not massively thick, but it's thicker than most colouring book papers. And it's a nice colour and... Honestly, I would say all pencils work on this like a dream. Same with Magical Jungle. All types of pencils I've I've used. I've not had a problem with any. They all work magic on it. So again, we've got an intro page um, and tips for colouring. Got a nice little nameplate page, which I have done on this one. And this is like the first page. I kind of feel like I need to fix that somehow. I will. <laughs> again, I've used kind of watercolour type things on it. It's not gone through. And... There is a story to this page, so there will be writing on some pages, there's, which is nice because there's not, like this doesn't have a full embellished, you know, it's not like a whole picture. So if you want to just do something little, then you can do something little on some of these pages. So if you're not in the mood to colour like a big page, but you want to colour something, you could easily accomplish some of the colouring in this book because there are just some little bits, which I think is nice. Or you say you finished a big page, you want to do something, like sometimes I finish my colouring book and I'm like I've got an hour before bed I want to colour something but I don't want to start a whole new big project and then I can look through a small like pictures with small pictures in and I go oh I'll go for this one so um the now the pictures relate to the story does not mean you have to colour them in regards to the story so the the story could say that oh I don't know the magic gem was blue you could have it whatever colour you wanted just so you know um not that I don't think there is a magic gem in this. I have read it just ages ago. So I do, and some of this reminds me of Romantic Country. Like this really reminds me of magic, Romantic Country. And I love these pages of Magic Country. Very detailed, but I still love them. When I'll cut around to colouring this, I have no idea because I look at it and think, ah, oh, it's going to take me forever. But I do love the picture. And again, she's not got any bits running down the spine. I mean, a little bit there, but it's only only a little bit so again you could just do the nice border if you wanted to um like you could do a whole background for that i just wanted to have a little trail so i didn't now um if you're going to use prismacolor and then like i used some chalk here and then i sprayed it with fixative make sure you do the chalk before you put prismacolor down because the prismacolor pinks like the dark pink process red no dark purple process red mulberry if you spray those with um fixative they will go through to the other side like they have on that one i mean luckily i should be able to color over it but just a warning <laughs> so i've done a little bit of this one like i started it because obviously it was just like a small little page i thought why not um and i love these this reminds me of like those really old books that are what they called like it's not gilded what do they call it when um not embellished i can't remember there's a specific name for um the old te like i think they have it in a lot of old bibles and things illuminating that's it illumination that's what that reminds me of the illuminated manuscripts um like what the monks would sit and do i think if i lived in those days i would totally be a monk illuminating things i mean i probably couldn't be a monk i'd have to be a nun but that's what i would have as my job <laughs> i mean there wasn't a lot else going on in the middle ages you might as well do something fun <laughs> i don't think you could do a lot of painting that wasn't related to religion either so um we might as well just do that so again there will be lots of floral and flowers in here because she goes into a magic garden so there will be lots of um florals and flowers and that there's ivy peering out into the magic land but i just i love i love this i really love that it's a book too so you know you can color this in and give it to you, your child grandchildren nieces nephews godchildren you know whatever or you know cousins or something or whoever or younger siblings or you could do it with them that's quite nice that you could color it in with them as well um or you could color it in for yourself like me um i just did this myself for me um although if i have children in the future i will share it with them um so we have a lovely 
page here and I used watercolour, I did put quite a bit of water on this and if you, as you noticed, yes it's buckled a bit, I did get unfortunately a bit on this side, this isn't bleed through, this is just me unfortunately catching it when I was um, painting it, but it has crinkled the paper a little bit, it's not massively crinkled so if you don't, if you're not bothered by that you'll be fine, um, but um, yeah I used quite a bit of water and yeah it's fine, I mean I still have to be careful not to use too much but absolutely had no problems with that there and again on this side just a bit crinkle and that's it um so yeah there's quite a lot of drawings in this one i would say there's probably more in this one than a lot of the other ones um so there's flowers there cute little picture there and again like this is very small this would not take you long to color in if you really didn't want to do a big project some little like houses in the water Treasure, various different things. Like there's a mandala one. There's not very many of those in here, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, so this is where the I guess is it a raven or a crow? It's a bird. Let's put it that way. Um, that's where they live. Lots of more treasures and trinkets. So this literally allows me to think I can put stickles on a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I do love it. So you know you could colour over the writing as long as you don't use and I mean if you don't want to read the story and you don't care you could just go over the acrylic paint but if you do want to read the story I recommend that just use colouring pencils or pastel or something like that as long as they're not too dark you should be able to see it and you could always um, draw a box around it or you could just go lighter around it because some people have coloured over the writing. Um, I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to do with like all of my, like if I'll leave it not coloured in or not, I don't know. Oh, look at all this food, it looks amazing. I wish I could be there. So we have got some dragons. This reminds me of the picture in Enchanted Forest. So she's kind of used a few sort of like similar pictures in here, but it's not really that much. Um, you know, she can if she wants to nice little like border like the bees this is very much just like an illuminated manuscript here which I really like um, there's another one that I've done oh I feel like I need to put a glow around them. I feel like I meant to put a glow around them and I didn't maybe I should go back and do it so this has got neo color so as you see I've gone around I haven't Put neo color over this because you probably wouldn't see it if I did. So I have left that so you can read it, but you know, up to you as to what you want to do. It's like lots of treasure. There's a dragon. So nice. I like the little frames that you have around there. Butterflies. More dragons. So this it literally has nothing on. So that's a good thing as well. If you want to do your own drawing on the book, you can do that too, which is quite nice. I think that's why she's left some of them kind of blank for anybody who would like to do that. So we've got another floral heart, um, heart here as well. Have something simple there, which is quite nice. Another sort of mandala thing there. Butterflies, ivy, looking really cute with the butterflies in the hair. I like that. And again, some sort of illuminated manuscript, which is quite nice. Dragon. And I think, is it this page? No, maybe it's not this page. There is some page somewhere that has her daughter did <laughs> accidentally did a drawing on, on a, um, one of her like practice or pr proof copies or something. And she included it in here, which is really nice. But I think it was back on the previous page. And then we got, because there's, I think, a few butterflies or something at the end. So there's them there. And the, they've written their own letter as well, which is really cute. And then that's it. That's the end of the story, pretty much. So there's some nice, lovely little pictures in here, which I absolutely love. So go to that end. And then you've got the publisher infos there. And then, yes, there is a colour palette test page. Again, you don't get anything extra in this one. Again, you can colour that in. Um, it's, this is a lovely book. I think this is one of my favourite Johanna Basford ones, actually. I love that it's um, a storybook as well. It just makes it 
a little bit more interesting. Not that the others aren't, but I just like that it's different and it's nice. There are a couple that are similar that actually have a bit of a story going in, but this is one I think is one of the first ones I've seen that's like proper writing on other pages. So, um, yeah, so I highly recommend this one. Um, although it is quite thick, so if you don't have a lot of time to do lots of pictures, you might not want to do it but I like the fact you've got smaller things you can do so I really hope you enjoyed this review of Magical Jungle and Ivy Ninky Butterfly and I will see you soon bye bye